the first course or the, the appetizers have, have come out and Chef, I must say the only thing I recognize is the papaya salad. So you've got to tell me, educate me what all this is now. So first uh, we have the, uh, we call it the uh, chicken kapow. Okay. So you have the uh, charcoal which is still grilling, mm -hmm. hot, you know, and then you're getting hot food, hot food here. Mm -hmm. And then I have the, uh, uh, the Thai basil sauce okay. on the side, so you can uh, pour it over. And it's on what? This is a stick of lemon? Uh, the, the lemon glass. So you have the lemon glass flavour as well. So that's what you... Uh, okay. um, experience it here at home. I'm going to try it immediately. So we've got this stick of lemongrass on yeah. which we've got a satay chicken of sorts. Yes. Yeah. With the? With the Thai basil sauce. Thai basil sauce. sauce. Yeah. I must say, this beats eating just a normal plain satay. Mm -hmm. It's like a, what I'd call a Thai kebab. Yes. Very nice. It should be, yeah. the papaya salad that we made. You can't eat Thai food and not have a papaya salad. As you said, it's crunchy, and you've got the saltiness, and you've got the sourness, and you've got the sweetness and everything in it. And while I thought that the fish sauce is a really vital ingredient in a papaya yeah. salad, I don't miss it there. No. It's nice. So then uh, we have Rock shrimp? Rock shrimp. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like a popcorn size, you know, like when you bite it, it's really crunchy as okay. well. And then underneath, we have the eggplant, uh, king aubergine. Okay. So you have to pick a little bit of uh, bit and pieces there. But it's, you're really good with the chopstick already. <laughs> right, right. Hey, nice crunch. And these dark little towers here, which look very interesting, full of sesame seeds. But I have no idea what this is. Uh, this is the um, king aubergine or eggplant. So then, yeah. then uh, slowly bake, glaze it with the chili uh, uh, sauce. This eggplant, because you've roasted it outside, mm -hmm. it's sweet and soft inside, and then you have the nuttiness coming it out, come, coming out with the with the sesame seed. Mm -hmm. It's just divine. Oh, very nice. Now the thing is. If the starters are so good, what is going to happen to the main course? The main course is going to be exciting. Exciting? <laughs> okay, I think we should have some exciting main course. Okay, so some of the main course has arrived and what exactly is happening with the rice over here? Well, uh, we use the lava stone bowl, which okay. is we heat it up. So this Make bowl it really is hot. stone? Yes, from and the lava stone. From lava stone. And the bowl is hot, there's the no fire under it. Okay? Yes, no fire under it. It's just okay. being heated up on the uh, stove. Okay. And then uh, just basically you fry rice in the hot stone bowl. Okay, so where should I, I don't know where to start. I get you the rice. Great, you have the uh, water chestnut and then uh, eggplant inside I've got there. So. Everything. I've got a piece of chicken, I've got a piece of water chestnut, and I've got a piece of eggplant. It's delicate. I've eaten curries which are very overpowering, but this is subtle. It's got some really nice flavors. Oh, now a little bit of that sea bass. Even before eating it, I can see the sea bass, the way the texture of the sea bass is. It's soft, succulent, mm -hmm. and then you've got this salty, sweet, spicy, everything happening. Because it's glazed on the top. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Great, I think this has been a great meal, Chef. Oh, well, thank it's you so much. It takes me all the way, not to go, but to Bangkok. Mm -hmm. And you've got a little bit of Bangkok in your own way to Mumbai, in Co over here at the Intercon. 
Yeah. It just makes me really happy to have met you. Well, me too. Thank, thank you, so you much. Thank, thank you me. so much. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to write to us, write to us at weekend.times.tv. From Ian and me, it's bye.